guys, it's me right now. What? And I'm talking about the PS5 event. Sony is holding a special PlayStation 5 event. And it's going to be about a 40 minute digital showcase. And it's going to include updates from first party Sony Game Studios and third party partners. Now, here's the thing. Due to Microsoft finally, I guess, announcing the prices, like the Xbox Series X being $499 according to the Verge article, and the Xbox Series S being revealed and being $299, I'm guessing that this game of chicken has finally ended, and Sony is going to also reveal their prices on th this Wednesday. When I saw the Amazon leak with the PS5 prices, I did say that $499 for the one with the disc, and then... $399 for the all digital edition made sense. But now that Microsoft has revealed their prices, will Sony undercut them? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, will Sony drop their prices now just to make them a little bit more competitive with Microsoft's prices? I could see Sony actually making the PS5 with the disc tray, right? For $49.99. And I could definitely see them making the all digital edition for $349.99. Now, why would that be so important? Because the Xbox Series S, right? It is $299.99 and it has four teraflops. Let's just go with the teraflops now. There are other specs you can look at, but let's just go with the teraflops. The PS5 All Digital Edition, as far as I know, the only difference is it doesn't have a disk tray. So that means it still has about 10 teraflops of power in the GPU, right? Now, I made a video calling Xbox Series S Microsoft's ace in the hole, but if the PS5 All Digital Edition is $349.99, right? I could see a lot of people buying the PS5 All Digital Edition instead of the Xbox Series S if it's only $50 more dollars because for $50 more dollars, having one that is around 10 teraflops instead of four teraflops, that makes a big difference. So I really think Sony could really kill it right now by just undercutting them, at least for the All Digital Edition. Even if this disc tray edition is still $499, the All Digital Edition being $349 may make sense to kind of seriously compete with the Xbox Series S. I don't know whether Sony will do that or not. I don't know whether they can afford to do that or not. I think I've seen um, more than one YouTuber at least talk about how Microsoft may be in a better financial position than Sony. But at the same time, I think that would really make a big difference. If Sony were able to actually come in with the PS5, all digital edition at least, and make it much closer to the price of the Xbox Series S while at the same time being way more powerful of a console, they could really have a competition here, with, especially with the digital versions of these consoles. And I believe being $100 more than the Xbox Series S, as opposed to being $50 more, that could make a big difference in sales. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Sony is going to try to undercut Microsoft and be $49.99 for the PS5 with the disc tray and $349.99 for the PS5 all digital edition? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my like, subscribe, and may God bless you all.